So today I'm talking about a P0343 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0343 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor, a circuit high, bank one, or single sensor. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called camshaft position sensors that's just tracking the camshaft as it spins and reporting this information back to the computer. As the camshaft is spinning, the sensor is going to pick up these teeth that's on it. Every single time a piece of metal is directly in front of that sensor, it's going to send a signal back to the computer. And the computer can track this so it knows the location of the camshaft as it's spinning. But when you get this P0343 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and you find the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And that's going to be the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there'll only be one bank. And there can't be one camshaft position sensor on each bank of the engine, or there could be two camshaft position sensors on each bank of the engine. If there is two, sensor A is usually on the intake side, and sensor B is usually on the exhaust side. And one thing to mention about these camshaft position sensors is that if they are swapped out, if a new one is put in, they may need what's called a relearn procedure, where the computer can read the variances that's inside of the new sensor. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this. This is also one of the reasons why it's a good idea to get an OEM sensor, if possible. That way, if the sensor is swapped out, the variances won't be that big, or hopefully not that big. It'll be close to the original, so the computer doesn't have to relearn too much. And how the vehicle's computer relearns, again, is going to vary. Sometimes you just need to start up the vehicle, and the computer will automatically relearn. Sometimes you need to do different drive steps, and the computer will relearn. Sometimes you can swap it out, and the vehicle will just start up, and there won't be no problems. If you have a really good OBD2 scan tool, quite often those have an option aside there where they can automatically command the computer to relearn. These are the more expensive scan tools, but some of them do have it. So if you do have a good scan tool, you can go check to see if you have that option. But basically, keep in mind that if you swap that sensor out, and the vehicle won't start, or it starts up and it runs badly, it may need what's called the cam sensor relearn procedure. And so what are some possible causes of a P0343 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that camshaft position sensor just failed and it just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this and figuring out if it is the camshaft position sensor. It's a good idea to test it first and be sure it's bad because of that relearn procedure thing. If your vehicle does need that relearn procedure and you swap it out, quite often the engine won't start. Or if it does start, it runs badly. So quite often it's not a good idea to just swap it out. Since the other main thing that causes this is the wiring, you can go and test the wiring first and be sure it's good. And then if it checks out good, then swap out that camshaft position sensor and try to go through any type of relearn procedure that the vehicle may or may not have. If you do go to check out the wiring on your vehicle, it's a good idea to get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle since there is differences. Sometimes you can get them for free using Google and like Google images and things like that. And then other times these wiring diagrams and schematics can be hard to find. If you can't find them for free online, I'll put some links down in the description below to some good paid options. And there can be two wire sensors, three wire sensors, or even four wire sensors. These three wire sensors are pretty common. And basically what's going on with these is that you're going to have a ground, you're going to have power going to it when the key's in the on position, and then you're going to have a signal wire going back to the computer that every single time a piece of metal is directly in front of that sensor, it's going to send a pulse back to the computer. Some people use this to test that sensor and the wiring. If you take the sensor out and you plug it in, you put the key in the on position, you could back probe into it and you read what the voltage is. So for example, right here is 4.80 volts. And then when you put a piece of metal directly in front of it, it's going to drop close to zero. Like for example, right here, 0 0.02. And if it does that, then that means it's working. Some people go buy a new sensor and do this to test the circuit. It's because if this works, then you know the circuit's good and you know the camshaft position sensor is bad. But like I said, there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. But the main things that's going to cause this code is either a bad camshaft position sensor or some kind of problem inside the wiring. And the last thing that might cause a problem is that there's some kind of issue going on inside one of the timing components. And if you're only getting a P0343 code, you're not getting no other codes or anything like this, then this very likely is not going to be your problem. It's very likely going to be like a bad camshaft position sensor or, or some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. But if there is some kind of issue going on with the timing components, like the timing belt slipped or something like that, then it can throw these sensors off and it can start to trigger camshaft position codes. But usually when the timing's off, you're going to be getting a lot of other codes. You'll be having a lot of other issues going on. So if you are getting a lot of other codes and things like this, then be sure to pay attention to that. And basically keep in mind that if the timing's off, it can trigger camshaft position sensor codes. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview. 
of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0343 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.